Hey everybody, Carol Mahoney here from Unbound Growth, just coming off of one of our live sales labs where we talked about relationship building. And it was actually a topic that I kind of shifted and threw into uh, this week, simply because there seems to be a lot of polarization going on about this whole idea of relationship building in sales, where one side of the camp is saying relationship building has nothing to do with sales, and the other side of the camp saying, well, of course relationship building has everything to do with sales. So what's really going on? I think first thing we need to do is define what we mean by relationship building in sales. I don't mean the kind of relationship building like I have with my kids or my husband or my spouse or even making friends for that much. But the business relationships that I have and the personal relationships that I have and that you have have some things in common, such as building trust and credibility, which is only happens when someone actually trusts and respects. So I would challenge those that are saying that it's not about relationship building to think maybe it's not exactly relationships in terms of our personal relationships. And those that are saying it's all about relationships to remember that there's things that salespeople do that cause mistrust, which is absolutely oppositional to relationship building. Okay, so that little rant being out of the way, what are some of the things that you can do to build trust? This was something I've been actually doing a lot of digging and researching on. And I have two recommendations for you. First is pick up Deb Calvert's book, Stop Selling and Start Leading, um, co-written with Barry uh, Posner and James Coos. I'm hoping I'm saying those names right. And they did some excellent research into what are some of the specific behaviors that salespeople do that cause people to mistrust them. And it talks about some of the ways and techniques that you can use to be more of a leader with your sales pe people and with your buyers. The other book that I would recommend that you pick up, I just, uh, you can tell by the sticky notes I've been reading it, is this book, The Code of Trust, uh, Robin Drink. And I'm loving this book because one of the themes that I saw both in this one and in Deb Calvert's book was this idea of it's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about your product. It's not about your service. It has to be all about them. And those are the first steps to relationship building and building trust. You also have to look at how are your goals and that person's goals aligning. And the only way you can find out what that is is if you ask about what their goals are and why those goals are important to them. It also talks about understanding other people's communication style and adapting to their style so that you can actually get through to them. There's a whole lot more tips that are packed into both of those books. And there's some recommendations too where you can actually start to build those relationships even better. So take a look at those two books. Join me on next week's Live Sales Lab. I'm going to have a surprise special guest host joining us, so, it's, so keep in tune for that. And we're going to be talking about how to prepare for meetings and make the most of those meetings, how to make them all about the person you're meeting with and get to the next steps. So join me next week, Tuesday, noon Eastern time. Link's going to be below. Bye, all.